So anyway, so just because the shits and giggles, uh, I'm going to explain Lugano using the same methodology, right? So first, what was observed, the major findings of Lugano was that it had aluminium had completely disappeared, all the nickel isotopes had migrated to nickel 62, and the lithium races had inverted from natural ratio, but we didn't have quantitative amount for how much lithium was in there. So the natural ratio of lithium is basically 93%, your wonky neutron, and uh, uh, 7.4, whatever, on, on the lithium six. So, your alliums, aluminium, aluminum for you guys, uh, two 27s go to iron 54, that is what's going on in this. So Lena is occurring in this, Inside craters in this aluminium, there are uh, minimum energy structures made from platonic solids, and they are iron, copper, and zinc, but predominantly iron. Because the active structure is still in there, there is some sulfur formed on the surface because it's, it's fusing oxygen from the air to oxygen 16 to sulfur 32. So the iron 54 then breathes with lithium 7, ejects a proton, which we might be able to use, with the pro lithium 7. Uh, and you get nickel 60. So this is what happens. Aluminium goes breeding to nickel 60. <clears throat> now, I'm just explaining this little process behind why these things happen in this way. Uh, this is not the best example, and I'll show a better example in the next slide, but this is from an old Soviet um, uh, encyclopedia, and this is atomic volume. So your aluminium, your 227 aluminiums here, would occupy 20 units of atomic volume and you're trying to squeeze it into a smaller box and it goes boom down to iron 54 down here taking 15 units okay really successful return on, <laughs> on your job of making things smaller um, it, 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 and this happens all over the biggest example you might have it, imagine that this here is Stoyan Sarg structure and this is it's a good way of visualizing the distortion of the structure of the physical vacuum. So this shape is the proton, the rings here are neutrons. So this is helium because we've got two protons, one's off at 90 degrees orthogonal, and these are two neutrons. And this is a deuteron, this is six lithium. Seven lithium would be another neutron here. Now, this occupies two units of the structure of the physical vacuum. This occupies one. In fact, hydrogen, deuterium, tritium, and helium all occupy one. So if you take two deuteriums, right, and you put them together, they both occupy this space, and so does helium. So you get the maximum gain from combining two deuteriums into helium from distortion of the structure of the physical vacuum. That's why it's a very good thing to do, okay? So this isn't ideal because it includes the electrons in there, and the electrons are obviously far away, and so it's not the best, it's a reasonable guide. Osmium, this is George Miley's study in 2009. 11 labs out of 11 have seen transmutation of iron. Why? It's down here. Copper, they're all down here, zinc, so on. Osmium, lowest peak down here quite common. In fact, it's the densest stable element and it's the second rarest on Earth, okay? So, you know, it's an unlikely thing to be a contamination. Okay, this is uh, using Alexander Parkhamov's table, and I produced this chart, just so that you can see visually what, what nature is trying to do. This is nickel 58, 60, 61, 62, 63. You can see the line on 62, it's the smallest, okay? So, uh, nature wants to go to 62. In, 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 uh, um, Adamenko's, S.V. Adamenko's patent from 2001, uh, he struck nickel with 300 joules <coughs> of energy and almost all of it went to nickel 62, like that. Okay? So nature wants to do this, but there was a balance of 60 and 61. Okay, now I'm going to show you something here. Uh, this, this is, uh, I'm showing you here visually how these are slightly better in their packing ratios but helium is way down here, and then it's less efficient on these. So it makes sense <coughs> to split seven lithium here into two helium when you've got hydrogen up here. Put that lithium bar up there. If you had two lithiums, to, to oh, actually this is wrong because it's starting at 928, but it's equal to MC squared. You get the hydrogen anyway. So what happens to nickel in a nickel to nickel nucleon exchange reaction? Two nickels to two nickels, same protons and neutrons on both sides, so no radioactivity. So the only possible combinations in nature that prov pr provide positive energy out is the only possible combinations produce 62, 62, 62, 62, and 60, 60, 60, 61, 61. So 
62 doesn't want to go anywhere. Why does it not want to go anywhere? Because we have no heavier elements to have some nuclear balancing going on. You've only got nickel 62 as our heaviest element. So the only choice it can make is nickel 62. <coughs> then, what happens to the 60 and the 61? Lithium 7 with 60 goes to 61. And lithium 6. Lithium 7 and nickel 61 goes to lithium 6 and nickel 62. <laughs> what you have is all the lithium 7 disappears pretty much, unless you've got a bit left over. Goes to all lithium 6. Some of the lithium 6 might be used, but anyway, in this lot. Uh, and you end up with pure nickel 62 and no aluminium. Rest my case.